Hi, homeschoolers out there. I hope you're hanging in there with this coronavirus situation. Um, I have some ideas for creativity if you're interested. Um, I'll just say a quick hello and say who I am. My name is Joanna. I am a graphic designer, artist, and illustrator and I am the creative director of a company called Consort Design. We're a graphic design agency based in London that I run with my fellow directors Paul and Steve and normally we're designing um, lovely things like this and websites and logos and also all sorts of wonderful things for wonderful clients but at the moment I thought I would make these short videos for parents dealing with kids at home they're little small creative projects to do either with your kids or if they're old enough to just kind of set them and let them get on with it and have a bit of fun and they involve a bit of learning a bit of maths a bit of research um, so hopefully involve all sorts of parts of your kids brain but most importantly to have a bit of fun um, in a creative way get them it's very low-tech stuff and get them away from the screen um, because you're probably inundated with that kind of stuff um, especially from schools and uh, virtual lessons and all sorts of stuff like that so I hope you enjoy these videos the first project is called go fish so you'll be making a fishing rod very low tech, with a magnet on the end of it to go fishing for some fish that your kids would have made and decorated and have a numerical value of so they can add up and use their math skills too. Uh, no offense to any vegans out there, it's just a game. So let's, without further more ado, let's go and find out what you need for your Go Fish project. These are the items you need for your Go Fish project. First of all, you need to make the fish out of something. So this will be a piece of card. This is watercolor paper, but you can be any kind of plain card that you have lying around at home, or it can be the, um, the inside of a cereal box or packaging like I have here. This is an old Amazon package that you might have lying around in your recycling. So it's a nice way to recycle that. You need a pencil to draw the shape out. You need your pens, your watercolor pens here that I have. I use these Ecoline pens. These are very nice to use. They can be blended with water or you can use poster paints, gouache paints, whatever you've got at home, pencils even. You've got your scissors to cut the shape of the fish out. You've got the paper clips to actually put onto the fish. And you've got a magnet, which you're going to use at the end of your fishing line, which I've got here. This is wrapping paper twine, or you can use just ordinary string or even embroidery thread, whatever you've got at home. And then you need the actual fishing rod. This could be a branch from, or a piece of twig from your park or your garden, if you have a garden, or just a long solid piece of something sturdy. This is the ruler or you could use a broom handle, something like that. And you actually need, well, you might need some scotch tape as well to actually, if you can't tie tie something onto a slippery surface, then if you want some extra um, adhesion, then you can use the scotch tape. And then you need your reference material. So hopefully that will be in the form of a book. You'll, of course, you can go online to find reference materials for tropical fish are obviously particularly beautiful or if you want to do sharks or whales or anything you could even do you can even go fish for butterflies it doesn't have to be fish it could be anything that you're interested in fairies um, rockets you know, anything that's suitable for your child that, the, that they're interested in so these are the items that you need so first you want to draw the shape of your fish we've chosen a queen angel fish which is this one and you can research with your child where that comes from where it lives so you can use that as a guide to draw the shape of your fish so here we go let's go you want to keep the shape quite simple so it's easy to cut out and not too big and not too small. There we go.
can get your child to draw a fish first and then cut around it. So this is what uh, Aurelio has done earlier. So now we're going to cut around it. This is this is kind of big for it, but because he's done it like this size, I think we're just going to go with it. So Aurelio's finished his fish now, the shape that I drew for him and cut out. So now the next part is, is to take your paper clip and put it on the nose of the fish. Like so. So here are our fish that Aurelio has decorated. Um, you can make many more of course and we put the paper clips on each of the fish down right round about what their well the front of their faces and, and just so you can see this one was a bit big because you can see with our magnet so we've attached the magnet We've, we've used that um, wrapping paper twine. We've tied it up like that. And just as a test, you can see how, what size the fish can be, depending on how big your magnet is. So that one works pretty well. Ready, you can take it off for me. There we go, thank you. So if we try this giant fish, you'll see that It's just too big. Let's go fish. Cast your line out. Cast your line. Oh, you caught straight away. Oh my gosh, you caught it straight away. Sorry for any vegans watching. Oh my gosh, we caught a clownfish. But bad for environment. Yeah, we don't want to be really catching clownfish. Big. You set it free. <laughs> so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, you know the score. Thumbs up subscribe visit uh, consortdesign.com to see the rest of our portfolio and hope to see you next time hang in there guys bye